Okay, next thing we move to the keypad. You know, the keypad is going to be uh, basically something that we're going to be using often because here's where we're going to be making the calls. So, for example, if I call the number, uh, let's say 888-888-9988, you know, I basically just do that. Here you can see I select the number I want to call out from. And let's say we're going to use Atlanta Cells. We're going to click on the little three dots. We're going to set as default so that we don't have to keep changing it every call or you do it according to your guys's method and then start your call all right it's going to tell you the time zone of the number this cannot be determined because this is a number a phony number i just made up and that's it the next thing we're going to check is the people button right here here is going to show you the users available in your organization these may vary depending on the configuration of your office uh, if you need a transfer to a fellow user or a representative you're just going to go ahead and click on the or on the little phone button and it's going to start ringing on the other person's side the last part right here guys is the settings button on the settings button you can go ahead and, and change your status of to available automatic schedule and unavailable if you're not ready to receive calls let's say you have to go to a meeting then you can go back to i'm, ava uh, I'm available or you can click on available to get you back to taking calls now on preferences you can see calling where you can let's say get a shortcut to just click enter to pick up a phone when it comes in you can click you can i'm sorry hit escape you know to decline a call you can press escape to hang up as well control shift m to mute the microphone you can as well set the time that you are unavailable after each call and you have a forward to external number as well option you know to turn on or off these can be as well configured on the actual online and browser interface of air call now go back you have the working hours you can go ahead and configure these here we're not going to touch it but i mean it's pretty self-explanatory uh, then we have the language you can set up the language that you prefer you know from this list of languages you have the sounds right uh where you can select how it's going to ring we're going to just leave it here on air call this is how it actually rings when you get a call now ring on headset and computer so that if you want it to receive the ring on your headset or as well on your computer then you have the input you know where uh what's the microphone that you have in this case we have selected logitech you know headset microphone that we have and then the output you know which is going to be what's going to be the device where you're going to listen your calls which in this case you know i'll go ahead and put it back you know as well to my headset that's a very important thing to configure so make sure that you do this at the very beginning the, then we have the notifications uh, if you receive notifications once you get voicemails when you once you get call assignments if you get invoices this is pretty much more for your administrator so you can just leave this aside and uh, the last part is the quality you can go ahead and diagnose your network right you just go ahead and click on run diagnostics 